Hello everyone, welcome back to Troubleshooter, the game where every time you decide to peek under the hood, you find another complex of game mechanics waiting to thrust itself upon you. It is amazing. Uh, I had a good time last though uh, at the Plaza, met a lot of good people. Uh, Alyssa Ivanova is probably my newest and greatest BFF, and I hope that never changes. Uh, but we're back here having done our mission, um, so let's go have a chat with Don and tell him how great we are. Draw a clear line between private and public affairs. Don't let praise... Damn, man. Can you not just let me be awesome? I guess not. All right, then. So, yeah, we're at refreshment. Um, and Seiji. So, I'm guessing, like... Um, again, I don't know quite how to improve these properly, but uh, we'll see. I don't know if, like, having these, like, high value, um, like, makes a massive... I, I honestly don't know. I think basically you're meant to train your freshener up, but not get your Seiji too high. But I don't know. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is we are going to... Uh, let's grab that. Uh, I think I deserve a sandwich. Uh, and, uh, sure, give me... Um, do you want that as well? Give me some fresh juice, too. Cheers. Craving for more. I have turned the graphics up now to the high setting, by the way. I don't know if I want to put them any higher. Um, but yeah, crazy I was on minimum. And it's just like, nah, just, uh, you know, rock and roll here. I don't know. Oh, there's a today's recommendation menu. I didn't even spot that. Which would have um, given me a, a discount. Well, damn. We've got meal sets here. It's just every time I look at something, it's like something else is happening. It's completely nuts. It's completely nuts here. Um, oh, I can even see it over there as well. So um, I kind of want to get my refreshment up a little bit more, though. Just kind of see. I want to see what happens if you get like all this stuff high. Like, I honestly don't know. Can I order those? Are you only allowed to order one or one at a time? So I place an order. I was gonna say, should I can. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, why can I not um, order those? That was kind of weird. Whatever. Anyways, let's go spend our hard-earned money. Again, was that useful or not? I don't know, but it's done now. So... What happens? So let's see. So if I get some hot milk, so if I go over 100 here refreshment, let's see what happens. Or if I can, or if it has any effect. I honestly don't know. Heavy drinking. Damn. So if we do max it, there's a problem. So motivation decreases when drinking, drink, and meal set effects will not be activated. Okay, so we have debuffed ourselves. Damn. Well, didn't know that was a thing. Good to know. Job of every founder of vehicle for buying, selling items. I know, man. It's we're getting there slowly. All right. So uh, let's go to. We can't go back to the warehouse for now. Uh, there we go. Let me now use mission control panel, which is good. Yep. We're busy. Certainly is empty. Yeah. Recruiting apprentice, eh? Proper troubleshooting uh, 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 companies can hire apprentice troubleshooters, but all responsibility falls on the leader of the company. I think troubleshooters is a financial burden for most companies, so we prefer to enlist apprentices over licensed troubleshooters. I see. That's a good question. Yeah, we should probably sort our, sort our own house out, I guess. So you need know, to use control uh, to check out missions. You want to take different missions through the mission control panel. All right. Well, there's lots of things for us to do first, though. So let's look at our roster. So we are now... Um, so here is us. You do? Well, I'm glad you think so. On your info screen, you may open the ability another board and customize your character's abilities. It's this stuff over here. All right. This is the ability board. You can customize your character's abilities so you take into command. So we're level six overall, but a level five swordsman. Okay. J board is where you can see abilities along with those that are currently not in use. Uh, three components, basic, general, and SP. 
as you can see here. So again, one of each type, as we've been noticing, so kind of a general attack, one that has a more varied effect, and one that's uh, more specialized, I guess. I mean, Freddy customized availabilities within available ability slots. Yes, yeah, so we've got two we can have for that, but only one of the others. All abilities are not currently available. We need to level the ability level indicated to the bottom of the tooltip. You will permanently unlock the abilities you acquire, keeping them even when your class is changed. Okay. You may acquire additional abilities through changing and leveling up various classes. Choose the ability you want from the leaderboard. Okay. So we got Wind Slash is the only thing we've got here. But so far, generally, we've got Gentle Dust and Fresh Review We also have Tornado Slash, um, which is a thing. So you just do 100 damage, um, and then there's tons of modifiers that can be used to give yourself additional damage here. So ESP, Attack, Speed, Wind. We've got a lot of those. We can bleed people as well. Um, so this is a... Um, a slashing melee. So I kind of want to keep a gentle dust. Like having some range is good. Fresh breeze is like obviously in an area, but I definitely going to use that a ton. So I think we're actually going to go ahead and put tornado slash on here. All right, looks good to me. Sweet. Save formation. Ah, okay, so you actually have presets of your, uh, like, preset ability sets as well. It's just a change to, um, conveniently. I appreciate that. Oh, cheers. Motion comes by five every minute. That's... Does it go at in, in real time as well? Huh, interesting. So, yeah, so we are swordsmen currently. Um, uh, but I guess at some point we'll be able to change that. Here's our individual mastery again, so we can use our training manuals to change these. As we know about. Man, so much going on here. It's, it is nuts how much there is, but it's pretty awesome. So I'm guessing it's later on down the line we ought to change these. It's just, it's just every time you look somewhere, it's like you're doing something else. It's just nuts. We have, um, so we've got this here. We've got some ordinary uniforms, which are not really doing a lot here. Pretty cruddy. Do you know that gives you extra block chance? That's not too bad. Now, healing potions. We don't need the great healing potion right now. I think healing's fine. And then our flash grenades. But we've also got the wooden spoon, so we can't use it. It just gives us plus 2% dodge rather than the flash grenade, which is interesting. The symbol of spoonism. But then we might become a spoonist ourselves. That would be unacceptable. We can't allow that to happen. Let's not do that. <laughs> All right, then. So that's that. Uh, what else we got in here? We are on inventory here. Obviously, there's loads of stuff we picked up. Bangles, bats... Uh, the spoon. We've got a magician's ring. We don't know what half this stuff does. This gives 20 resistance to something. Uh, no, buddy. You're fine. Don't worry about that. So we got a couple of masteries we picked up as well. Tactical development. We also picked up mage as well, um, which is no good to... Uh, no good to Albus, but we're useful for some other people. And we have loads of mail. Genji! What a name! <laughs> so it's I'll probably never be able to name. <laughs> uh, I I hope so, man. Hey, he gave us five training manuals. Cheers. What a nice guy. Oh, these are the civvies that we saved. Ah, oh, okay. Have 700 view. Okay, nice. So saving the civvies will give you rewards at the end. I do not trust people. I have no interest in computer justice. I'm going to say, I'm going to live my life. So I'll say, I'll say thank you since you did save me. I'm sending you the minimal gift of gratitude and the efforts that will be fine. Tell the chocolate reveal though. Uh, here's Cynthia. A lot of people like me every day. Not much. Here's someone doing my gratitude. Thank you. See? People, you're nice to people. They're nice to you, you know? 
And this is Anne Macy. This is the kid. Remember her? I was risking about trouble. She was a beer sink during the Ramsey Plaza. Story shaken, but one thing I remember clearly is there was a man in a black tracksuit that figured the enemy along with his team members. Ah, oh, you're a trouble shooter apprentice, eh? Hmm. I'm gonna do some business. Only 60 veal, but that's fine. Alright, well, maybe we can. You can actually send emails as well? Interesting. So weird. <laughs> so much going on. Here's our report. We are awesome. That screen is also incredibly bright. So learning about the troll makes here. So here's those pyromancers we saw here. Spoon, you say. You can suppress fire. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I know what I was looking for. Here we are. Not that one. Um, activity report is the one. So you see here now, silver in Silver Cloud, we are awesome. Uh, yep. So we're level nine reputation, which means that there's loads in the fun now, which is good. So the uh, place is going to do right for itself, I guess. And we got a slight bonus to these residences as well with their appreciation courtesy of civilian cheer. Um, so we got a slight increase in rep with the other residential areas. Nice. Missions left in the next report. Cool. And I'm guessing these are the missions we've done? We'll see. Anyways, mission control. Oh my goodness. So, okay. So it looks like the only one we can get to here is Pugo Street. It's an arrest style. We've got a couple of uh, enforcers, suppressors that are going to give us a hand here. Okay, worth noting. Um, so we're going to arrest someone. This is a challenge mode. Enemy masteries are randomized each time. It's a mode for those who are experiencing the game. Um see so that's something we don't want to mess with right now and i don't think we can mess with right now that's fine pigo will recommend level six which we are there are unknown enemies that we have not encountered before i mean what could possibly go wrong this is a lawless area many civilians are seeking for help um okay interesting so depending on how much you've done also with public safety um uh, increases in respect to the results of the cases sold. If it reaches 100%, the experience bonus and item acquisition bonus will come into effect. Uh, safety level will fall again by affecting current crime rates. I see. Yeah, so you can see how, um, like, once you get to the higher ones, we start getting boosty bonuses. All right. Well, it's just you. You are fixed. You're forced into this. Okay. Well, seems good to me. Again, we can change the difficulty, but I'm going to keep it on normal for now. But I am definitely possibly going to look to take it up to hard mode pretty soon. So the thing I'm wondering, being that this is kind of very heavy RPG, is does that mean that, like, uh, past missions will be able to, like, redo them? Like, going back into an old area? I also wonder if grinding is going to be a thing that's necessary. Hmm. Unsure. I get the impression that grinding is going to be at least an option. But as far as necessary, I don't know. If so, I might do something off screen. A bit like when we did tactics way back. But we'll see. Two years before. So this is way back. Another person. All right. You're Sean. I'm Visha. I'm gonna be a good old brother and let him go first. There's so many people. Dumplings. All right. Rion. I guess it's Sean. Yeah, it must be. Or Ryan and Cyan. Good naming, by the way. Why aren't you answering the phone? If I was in a terrible mood. Hmm. 
He wants to be representing our family. Oh, I think I'm starting to see where this is going. Come back home this instant. <laughs> it's your mum calling. Are you doing all right? As your mother, I will always support you. Well, thanks. So do what you think is right. My name is... I, I get, it must be Sion. We had Rion. It's got to be Sion. It's been six years since I came to Valhalla. From now on, I'm going to be standing on my own two feet. Six years? Damn. Sion's been on his own two feet since he graduated for high school. Sion our, our main character now? However, as a foreign student from a noble background who was used to all sorts of privileges, Sion found living alone to be a great challenge. Hmm. I see where this is going. A lightning Sion back from delivery, boss. You got the wrong place again. <laughs> You idiot. Damn. Have a heart. Did <laughs> you see his face? So Sion gets kicked to the curb. Damn. Uh, sucks, right? What the? Yeah, tell me about it. Year has passed again. <laughs> I don't have any dumplings for you. Goodness me. Family life is complicated. Vern no enemies up ahead. Everyone ready? Really? Civilian? Yeah, this place is too dangerous. Okay. Well, apparently he wants to give us a hand. I mean, sure. Some business. How do you learn that sort of trick? Troubleshooter. <laughs> Damn. I can never give them the room my precious dinner. <laughs> Priorities, man. I've seen plenty who were stronger than me during the Ramji Plaza case. Sure! Adventure, eh? If I was for anything go wrong. <laughs> Alright. Well, as are now in faith status. Alright, even the cops are uh, assisted. Nice. Uh, that doesn't really help you, I don't think, but uh, let's get them. Man, he absolutely just murdered those dudes that was uh that was pretty pretty awesome right that counts as a move i can gust you so might as well do so he is defeated give orders eh but he's in the bottom left panel you can make vhpd units act by themselves through command granting okay so Basically, they're kind of NPC-ish, so if you want, you can, instead of commanding them manually, uh, you can basically just tell the AI to look after them. 
that's kind of no. Good to know. There's no minimum action of the command you grind. You will stand by until they find something that is appropriate to command. So, for example, I get them. Uh, yeah, actually, search and reveals unrevealed areas of the battlefield. Aggressively attacks enemies on the characters that text them. Interesting. So, let's make you uh, explore them. Damn. This your report is getting more and more complicated. I know, right? It's fine. All right, you get over there then. We'll get you around this side. Uh, combat preview, eh? Oh, yeah, check the site and attack ties in advance when moving the current location. Ah, oh, now that's useful. So what's going on here? So basically it's saying if I move you to there, that's his field of view. That's what he can see in target. That's really cool. I appreciate it. I think that's a, I think that's a nice little uh, little billy there. See, this game's got so many things. So many things. It's just like it's completely nuts. But again, it's awesome that he does. Good thing he dodged. <laughs> you did that on purpose. Suppressor's just going to go and kick some ass here. I don't know if um, he can actually, I can like take him off of uh, auto command. I have no idea. Anyways, he can go and grab the uh, item for us here. The reason suppressors can't. I don't know if he'll be able to equip it. He's already got one. Cool. I have that for the inventory. Cheers. Uh-oh. That's not good. Trolling. Level 2 alertness status of enemies. When the unit is the status of its own, it moves to the nearest and most effective cover. Ah, okay. The unit can send backup requests to its number allies when it's line of sight. Hmm, okay. Also, notice that we couldn't get in it as near either, so that's going to be a problem. Yeah, I know, right? Here's Danny and Sharky. <laughs> What's that around his wrist? I'm out of here. I'll leave the rest up to you. Good luck. What is up with these people? Divine mission. <laughs> Danny and Sharky have left the site. Well, that's good to know. Right, let's get, let's get you in cover, because there are dudes over there. EV charges. Oh, you tap. Free tire radius will be affected by fire damage. It's affected when hit with ice damage. Okay. So many things! So many damn things. Right, let's get you over here for a moment. Um, so you got anything here that like gets the uh... Okay, so it actually gives you straight numbers as well, which is interesting. So it's, it's like so that the yellow there is like the um... I, I know what's going on. So damage here. Yeah, you just see the bravery. Oh, man, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm getting the game now basically is what I'm trying to say. I understand it. Anyway, let's go and uh... Try and finish him off. That's not what I meant to do. But he's he's pretty dead. He's, he's pretty dead. All right, then. Uh, Sion Bloodwalker. So he is a lightning um, stuff to him. Uh, how is it? I? I, here's the one. All right, then. So he is a... Uh, yeah, that's all let's look at. Yeah, he is an elementalist. So kind of similar to what um, Bianca was. But she's like kind of like telepathy and shit. He's like just throws thunder at people's faces. It's... um. Pretty badass. It's pretty badass. Uh, he's got abilities. If his HP is below a third, um, he actually gets buffed. Neat. All right. Well, uh, I need to be next to him to do that. Do I? Mm, don't like that hit chance. It's kind of not good enough. 
Uh, let's get Sion over here. And uh, well, go, go, go. Let's get over there, you'll be fine. Uh -oh. Watch out! Oh, he missed! Big miss! Cover help him there. Dude's everywhere. Here comes these boats. Ah, so you can see this. It's, it's, that's the uh, basically, he's like kind of a. Uh, Oh, I'm ringing here. I need, to, I need to get him out of there. Oh, I need to get him out of there for sure. There is a lot of heat. How many? Oh, man. I've just, like, waltzed into the freaking hive here. Pretty bad. All right. If you can do some range stuff, that'd be great. Uh... You or... Is it... How do I change it? Tabernal, that's the one. Not the best of odds. Some one, two. Damn. That was, uh... That was vile. Right, let's get hold of whatever this is. Carbon Bangle of Frost Blade. <laughs> These names, man. It's an actual, it changes weapon. Oh, we actually look at his gun here. Uh, sort of rifle uh, for the VHPD. He should have had hard police over 10 years ago. Most of them are used by district police. Neat. Let's put that there. Can I actually use I to, uh, I can do. Actually look at the, um, our peacekeepers, our suppressors. He's a gunman. So much, oh, just look at that as well. Let's see, he's got like, um, yeah. Command, company mastery, VHPD. So he does extra damage to criminals. It's just things like that, like, you don't have to do that at all. But it's really awesome that they do. Right, let's back you up here. It is, uh, it is pretty, pretty hot around here. Don't need to deal with this, dude. So shoot at the, uh, the swordsman here. He's got some, uh, strength for him, though. Damn. That did not work as I would have liked. Overwatch! <sighs> really? Yeah, that's kind of... Uh, mm, cover issues, it'll be fine. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Sweet. Get him! Nice! Big damage. Watch out short. Oh, holy crumbs, that was a serious hit. This guy's... This guy's serious. Yeah, cover definitely makes a big difference if you're for, uh, for gunfire. It is a massive difference. We're learning about the information. Yep, here's the map. It's just over there, and of course, all this stuff over here. Uh, I need to continue to pull away here. It's a bit hot. I can uh, just. Uh, the only person I can shoot is you. Yeah, I'll do. Got him. That, is, uh, that dude is pretty serious. Kind of scary. Right, let's pick up this. Bulletproof jacket of elephant. <laughs> These names are just. Oh, is he nuts? So that just gives you um, less resistance, but just more just straight health. Hmm. I mean, given the fact you don't have a lot, I, resistance? I don't really know what that... But is that like defense, I guess? I think I'd rather just give you the uh, the extra health here, to be honest. Noble that he doesn't actually recover it, though, on the spot. Uh, just stand by. Hey, I do a decent job of just like um, taking care of themselves, though, which is nice. And again, see, this is having Albus with this experience, like uh, picking up from other people, so useful. I need to heal Sion. Yeah, I know that. What are you? I actually don't know what level you are. You're level six as well. Okay. Um. 
Right, so Vigor consumes all of that. Okay. Let's go ahead and just uh, heal him up here. And you do get a second action when you do that. That's worth noting. Alright, um... Just get him on uh, standby here. I don't know how you dodged fire, buddy, but that was pretty awesome, and you need to do that again. Hmm. Movement here is tricky. Just gonna have to do this. It's gonna kind of suck. We're gonna throw a flash grenade over there, and we're just gonna uh, stun them all. This looks good to me. There we go. There's a chest. I would like that. Damn. Yeah, these guys are going to struggle to hit us now. That swordsman, that was... And he burnt to death. Awesome. More of that, please. So I'm going to click on them and see what's going Yeah, so you see here. So noise is separate to what they were to the, the stun there. That's uh, pretty bad. All right, let's go get him. I guess. Uh, you out of cover? You are. Nice. I think the collision is like it's hitting them into obstacles, so they're taking like extra damage. It's pretty neat. Go, go, go! Kind of would like to get the, uh, the chest first. I'm not gonna lie. You're the street enforcer. I mean, the, uh... Yeah, the, the pyro there is going to take so long to uh, actually take an action over there because he's stunned. The uh, the gorilla. I might actually be able to, um... Defeat this, um... Defeat this dude. Uh, let me turn this around here. Not you. You. And again, yeah, we could have targeted that, but uh, there was there was no one here. It's, it's fine. Beautiful. And now we can pick this up. The system works. The Miraculous Asker Blade, eh? That sounds pretty useful. So you use bangles. Ah, you're from the Air Empire. Okay. Probably end up giving that uh, thing in a moment. All right. Let's go and uh, rip this dude to pieces. Beautiful. Oh shit, he's gonna. Oh good, he didn't. I thought he was gonna like explode in uh, Sion's face there. Must be him. Yeah. Sorry about that, man. I don't know. Maybe you find use for your talent. Mr. Seal. <laughs> That's all. Are you interested in becoming a troubleshooter? My God. It won't take long. Better believe it, buddy. Oh, really? Where's my agent? And now I'm frustrated. So I hope it was like, isn't me wasting my time. If it would suit you, perhaps we could discuss this matter over dinner. <laughs> All right. You would let me? How could I refuse? Agreed. The way to any man's heart. Food. I know, right? Shocking. <laughs> Reason been a fine young boss. Obviously, various messages he's gotten over the course of time. I mean, we'll make it work. Then, incentives will be provided, depending on the outcomes. Including expenses? Never. 
Mr. Sion, who knows what to give it like we did today? All right. So his mother ended up kind of... So it looks like his, his family's a bit all over the place for this... Uh, he went downhill quickly for Sion. I'm sure I'm still pronouncing it wrong. Maybe someone who's played this game will tell me how to pronounce that. And I'll be alright with that. All right. <laughs> Man likes his food. Just call me Albus. On this day, Sion decided to join BS Inc. <laughs> after a year of part-time work. Woohoo! Awesome. There we go, everyone. Our first employee. Let's hope it's not the last. Sion took a serious injury, but hopefully that's not going to matter for this one. Yeah, he got, he got bashed up by that swordsman. That was a, that was a nasty blow. See, I have no idea what happens when you uh, end up, like if you end up, uh, you know, someone goes to no health. I don't think this is a permadeath sort of game. It doesn't strike me as that, but obviously it's going to have a massive effect on their motivation. So they might be out of it for a little while. That's the impression I get. We would do recovery juice by one every fatigue. Ooh, yeah, that sucks. And here we are. Seal Bloodwalker from the Ada Empire. So now we can choose his mastery specifically. And we can choose how to pay him. Seven for every seven or 150 every 15. I think we'll pay our uh, our dudes probably a little bit more regularly. I think that's probably a good idea. So we can have him be cheerful. So we had him on Bloodwalker, which is what he had on that move. So if he's a uh, third or health or less, um, he gets uh, a ton of buffs. And also, if I take someone out, he actually recovers health on the fly, which is kind of neat. So kind of like a a, a glass cannon sort of thing. It's kind of nuts, though. So sort of cheerfulness, uh, which increases SP by 8 if there's an enemy engaged battle within your line of sight. Um, also increases his maximum vigor, and he's immune to mental debuffs, which is pretty decent. And Hungry Wolf here as well. So in return, you sometimes eat the snack you saved up, uh, recovering your vigor or HP a little after eating. Uh, but during the mission, you have one chance to cancel the fatal damage. Put your action in game rage. Um, which did, did yet. So he basically takes food with him that he eats as he goes. And you can avoid being knocked out once, but you lose the snack. That is kind of nuts. <laughs> wow. Um, I mean, the idea is you don't get knocked out. Uh, but I mean, I can see some useful there. Cheerful looks pretty good though. And that's gonna get his SP up pretty quickly. And uh, more of that doesn't seem a bad idea. I think cheerfulness is the way we're going to go, and we're going to pay him uh, every seven. Yeah, we can change this down the line, so it's not a huge disaster. Like, it's just so many decisions and choices are just laid in front of you. It's it's kind of staggering. That's pretty awesome. There's Ray there. Don't know who uh, that dude on the right is. Ray seems pretty entertaining as well, by the way, not gonna lie. Alright. Left the sofa and table that you asked for in your office. Neat. You just need to pay the bills. <laughs> Three people for the table and 50 for the sofa. So it's made of expensive leather. Alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would you need a table for visitors? A new princess is we arriving. Damn. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'll sort of my own business, buddy. <laughs> of course. It'll be fine, Dom. It'll be fine. Ooh, actually uh, lost a bit of discipline there. There's the money to Don. 
Alright then, so, it's a lot of roster, so we have, yeah, Sion now is with us, they are pretty neat. So you can see Honey's going to get paid, all that sort of stuff. Okay. Uh, synergy button, at least a synergy board has been added. Oh my god, there's so many things! Synergy? This is the synergy board. The synergy board shows the current character's personal traits as well as their bonds and friendships with their other colleagues. I see. A character's personal trait is divided into natural inclination, environment, policy, and relationship. And according to the subdivisions, mutual friendship regarding company members either increases or decreases. That regulation displays a trait is decided by the combination of Zodiac, which is determined by the character's birthday, in Arcana, to the nature. These cannot be changed. It's just how they are, they are, basically. Environment is a personal trait that's granted to a character according to their workplace. This personal trait can be altered if the company undergoes changes. All company members share this trait. Policy is a personal trait granted to the character according to a company trait. So that's our individualism. Uh, being enforced by the company. These goals can be changed at any time. And related traits are the personal traits going to a character according to the various events that undergo their colleagues. It can be also removed according to relationship with the colleague. A character can form a bond with a colleague. Their mutual friendship plan is at least honoured. They have their own unique number of bonds they can form. They're all used. You have to remove one to form a new one. One bonds of characters activates a bond mastery. And you can check that uh, bond mastery list, which will allow extra abilities, I'm guessing. Actually, you can come on friendship with colleagues and colleagues' friends towards you. Uh, the gate on your left shows the friends, your friendship towards a colleague, and that shows their friendship towards you. These could be different. The relationship, established bonds, reinforced bonds, and cancelled bonds becomes available. I hope you got all that, everyone. <laughs> if you didn't, then oh boy. Uh, let's have a look at this. So, yeah, so we got. So, this is just um, how. Um, to be honest, so, he's a Virgo, uh, which means he's just going to have in just general. Um, yeah. A friendship increment towards member increases if they're Taurus or Capricorn. Genesis Sagittarius is decreased. And organization towards the world means he's just happy to be friends with people. Uh, the field business um, is by the company, sort of thing. So, friendship towards this colleague who's five every one recommended mission level. So many things. Here's the individualism being enforced by the company. Uh, for every level increase during a mission, the colleagues' friendship towards you increases by 100. Nice. Um, and we are the same age as the boss. Uh, if you receive a salary, friendship with elders increases by 30. If you increase a bonus salary, fellows towards elders further increases by 20. Okay. And so, yeah, this is our, um, our friendship with Albus here. Um, but we can't do any of this until we get to at least honoured. And we'll just gradually, as we do missions and do cool stuff with each other, I guess we'll gradually, uh, we'll gradually become better friends. Okay. Again, hope that all made sense. So we do have the Carbon Bangle of Frost, which has extra power. Um, there's a chance of doing ice damage. Uh, but the hit chance does go down a bit, and that's kind of unacceptable. But it's not bad, though. We require level 5 just to put it on, which is interesting. So, sure, yeah, let's back this on. Uh, the Knight's Bulletproof Jacket, which is um, probably going to be better than really anything I can give him to him. Uh, I can give him some resistance, I guess. I think it's fine. Mission Ring. Uh, just a basic ring there, so that's no good. He's got his sneakers. Give him the uh, the knight's ones here. Gives him better dodge chance. I think I'd rather him being able to hit, although the armor's pretty decent. I won't lie. And then I can give him some bits and pieces. I might give him wooden spoon. Um, just give him some extra dodge chance. That could be useful. Sure, you have that. And I don't have any equipment feats here. That seems good. But yeah, there's just... There's, there's so, so many things in this game. Like, I'm, it's just... It's it's stunning. 
And here's his mastery board. Oh, his various bits and pieces. His, his um... It's just crazy. So he's got body training, giving him extra health. He's got mage. Um, which is giving him, uh, extra... It's been about increases as much as maximum vigor. Ah, interesting. That's pretty interesting. A tactical sense. Block increased by 50% and more enemies and allies in your line of sight. And he's got electric shock, which is the ability that he had on him. Uh, reinforced attack ability inflicts lightning type debuff on a target. Hell's Dragon lightning type debuffs increases 50%. It's just so many. So many things. I feel like I would have to spend some time basically just going through everyone and everything and just kind of exploring what people can and can't do. I mean, we haven't even got into like these professional skills yet with like crafting and stuff. I mean, it's just. It is just. Outrageous. Outrageous how much stuff there is. It is amazing. All right, then. Uh, let's go into the office quickly here. Howdy. Um, pretty much. Yeah, it's just basically staying until we get cases. <laughs> it says are based on results. Pretty much. All right. How is this first employee ship has been activated? We've got some costumes for Sun. Uh, and San has joined in and given me 300 training manuals. What a... What a dude. Yeah. When he asked me to do this, there's so many other options on the chessboard. Yeah, nice of me. Just gave me an absolute bucket ton of uh, training manuals. Cheers for that. Various uh, ones. Adventure. Oh, yeah, we picked that up, didn't we? Forgot about that. Okay. It's just so many things. It's just absolutely staggering. All right then. So, uh, activity report. Uh, so that was our trip in the business there, Hugo Street. Um, so yes, to apply for jurisdiction, you will require a minimum number of missions completed satisfactorily, a uh, minimum reputation level, and you also have to pay a small fee. You can check out the selected information for down here in the info requirements. So we'd need to have done, uh, we need at least a reputation of 8, which is not there yet. Uh, application fee of 2400. And we'd need to have done uh, 10 missions to apply for jurisdiction. Damn. Uh, Troubleshoot, we really also avoid uh, to manage the district as jurisdiction. Hmm, interesting English. But I guess, yeah, so the idea is basically, I guess, as we get hold of more jurisdictions, we get more, basically, like, side buffs going on, I think is the idea. Uh, but if we can get these up here, the biz supporting effect, uh, we can actually trade uh, a discount. Be nice. Potions. Merchant Union. Okay. When completing some of the missions, uh, one armors are ranked rare or above, or potions uh, above are supplied for free, you know? So, again, you want to try and definitely get hold of this stuff. As much as possible. And we can look to get a, a second jurisdiction, but obviously we're not capable of doing that right now. Uh, if we were to go to, like, Skywind, for example, again, we just don't have enough uh, rep here. Uh, also, that needs 30 missions. Holy crumbs. Some of these are better pretty high. That We need a rep 10 for Crow Street, so we've got to be maxed out. We do have the money for it, though. But again, you can see, so business, industry, you've got some special areas as well. You can kind of get an idea ahead of what things do. But yeah, it's uh, it's just so many things. 50 missions for that. Holy Christ. Staggering. Staggering. Alright, everyone. So, we're going to call it a video. And we're going to call it a session. I'm going to make sure that this uh, video has also run fairly smoothly. I'm not aware that it hasn't. We'll see what happens when we get there. This has been Troubleshooter. This game is massive. There is so much stuff to delve into if you choose you want to. If you don't want to, I don't get the impression like... I don't think like you need to if you don't want to. 
You don't need to, like, delve into this stuff so crazily, you know, with, like, all the specific things here and, like, all this. I don't think you have to heavily delve into this sort of stuff, but I reckon it's something that, if you want to, it's there for you. You know what I mean? If that's something you want to play around with and, and have entertainment with, then you can you can definitely do that. What do we need for Windvale, by the way? Uh, Swords in level 10. Okay. I wonder if he, once I get up to 10, I can actually change his class. Like, he's Swordsman. I, wonder what, I assume he's not going to be a Swordsman for the rest of the game. I imagine at some point I will be able to change that, I would imagine. Uh, also, I have got so many points. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Looking forward to see what you guys made of this at the moment. Yeah. Oh, you can actually uh, actually add an additional equipment slot for with Valkyrie coins. Every time you look under the hood, you find another mechanic. I just need Alyssa back, just to make everything simple again. I'd be the happiest man going. <laughs> Take care, everyone. I'll, I'll see you soon.